Welcome to this workshop on how to create a simple DAP on Harmony. And today we're going to create a simple token faucet app that uh, users can interact with to uh, request f uh, specific tokens uh, from a faucet. And in order to actually participate and um, follow along in this uh, workshop, you have to have either one wallet or a math wallet installed in either Google Chrome or Brave. And you can fetch both of these uh, extensions from uh, the Chrome Web Store. So you can fetch the Harmony One Wallet from the Web Store as well as the Math Wallet. And uh, also, in order to deploy um, smart contracts on Harmony's testnet, which we will do in, um, later in this workshop, you also have to request um, funds to um, uh, One Wallet. Uh, so if you haven't set up a wallet, um, you can do that first using either One Wallet or Math Wallet, and then request funds to that uh, address. Okay, so uh, the actual DApp we're going to create um, looks like this. Um, so the first thing the user will see is they can connect to the DApp using either one, one Wallet or a Math Wallet, so whatever you prefer. So we can go ahead and connect with One Wallet, select an account, accept. And now we're in the actual DApp. And this is just a simple screen. Uh, wherever you click on the screen, basically, you will initiate a faucet um, uh, contract interaction. And you, as you can see in the top right corner, um, there's a counter for how many tokens you actually have. So we can go ahead and click, uh, which will prompt us to approve a transaction um, to interact with a token contract. So it's probably going to take a few seconds um, for a transaction to finalize, and we're going to see a pop-up uh, with the transaction details, a link to Harmony's Explorer. We can see is a mainnet explorer, um, oh, a mainnet uh, transaction, and. Um, yeah, so that's it. And we also received 10,000 tokens. Um, so that's pretty much what this DAP will be doing. And all of the documentation and the code for this DAP is available on github.com slash harmony dash one slash token dash faucet dash demo dash DAP. And there's documentation for how to interact with the smart contracts, which contracts are included, um, how to set up credentials, private keys how to configure Truffle if you want to use that for deployments, um, how to use Waffle for custom builds or smart contract compilations basically. You can also, and how also have to use, how to use HarmonyJS SDK to um, deploy the contracts if you prefer doing that instead of Truffle. There's also a section about CLI tooling, uh, how to interact with uh, the various tools um, which are available in the repository to showcase how you can uh, interact with the contracts on a CLI la layer. Uh, and there's also um, notes about the UI, um, which we'll go into more detail about um, later in this workshop. So, okay, so uh, let's start by taking a look at uh, the actual code. So we can open up visual code. And this is the repository. Um, so we have smart contracts. So we can start out with a test token. Contract is basically just a ERC20 token or what's it called in Harmony, a HRC20 uh, token and it uses Opal Zeppelin to um, actually create the contract. And we also have a faucet contract, um, which will actually allow users to request the, the test token from that faucet contract. And so we can start, start off by compiling the contract. So we can either do truffle compile, which will compile the contracts using truffle. And the specific version we're using um, for these contracts, we're using um, Solidity 0.6.12 due to um, version dependency from Open Zeppelin. You can use 0 0.7 series of uh, Solidity as well because Harmony is fully EVM compatible. Uh, okay, so we compile the contracts using Truffle. Uh, we can also compile them using Waffle, which is also included um, as an optional step if you want to use that. Uh, there's scripts in package.json which you can use. So you can use Jarn compile, which compile actual contracts using Waffle rather than Truffle. So let's try that. So Jarn compile. So now we're compiling contracts using Waffle rather than Truffle. But okay, let's stick to um, Truffle for this example. So we can do Jarn clean to remove all contracts and Truffle compile to recompile everything with Truffle again. Now we can go ahead um, to actually deploy these contracts um, on Harmony. Uh, so we can take a first look at how it's that actually is being carried out or done on Harmony. So you have to set up a Truffle config and compared to regular Ethereum, you also have to uh, configure 
uh, Truffle. Um, and for Harmony specifically, you have to set up a custom Truffle provider, uh, which is provided by Harmony JS SDK. And we configured two different networks. We set up the testnet as well as the mainnet. And then we have a set of credentials as well as settings that we um, pull in from the .n file. Um, so the first time around you actually set up this project, you have to copy .n-example over to .env and you have to set a relevant private keys. And each of these private keys um, have to be tied to an account that actually has testnet funds. So if you haven't already requested testnet um, tokens, you have to do that first. Okay, so um, when that's set up, we can start off we then we have the n file set up and we have the truffle configuration ready we're pretty much ready to go so we can truffle migrate network testnet okay so now the contracts are being deployed to harmony's testnet and um, we can also take a look meanwhile we're doing that at um, the custom deployment that can also be done using Harmony JS SDK. Um, so here's an example of how that can be done. So it's just a basically a Node.js script, which you will you can call from a command line, and it will deploy the contracts in a very similar way to Truffle. Um, you can use this if you want to deploy in a custom way instead of using Truffle, or maybe just script it into a like a more advanced degree. Um, then Harmony JS SDK could be a good option for that. But otherwise, it's very similar to um, the actual deployment being carried out by Truffle. So this is the actual Truffle migration step, which basically just um, deploys the test token as well as the faucet. And when it deploys the faucet contract, it sets up the construct arguments for the test token address, and how much to hand out for every time someone requests, and the frequency to hand out the tokens uh, when people interact with the contract. And that's pretty much what's going on with the custom Harmony JS deployment as well. Uh, it's doing the essentially the same thing. As we can see, um, the deployment using Truffle is now done. We can go ahead and try to we can deploy as well using um, the Harmony JS SDK deployment step. So we can do node tools deployment deploy network testnet, and that will deploy the contract in a very similar way as as is being done with Truffle. So it's probably gonna take a few seconds. Um, so the test token contracts are deployed. You just have to wait for the faucet contract. Okay. So now we have two separate deployments has, that has been carried out on the testnet. We have one using Truffle and one using Harmony JS SDK. So you can just go ahead and copy the snippet here and set the end variables. And then um, the, before you can actually interact with the faucet, you have to transfer funds over to the faucet. Um, when I initial like test token contract is deployed, it will meant 100 million tokens, which will automatically be assigned to the owner or the deployer of the contract. So we also have to transfer a set of tokens from the owner over to uh, the faucet contract, which we will do now. Uh, so we do node tools faucet init network network token token faucet faucet, and then we set amount to one million tokens that will be sent from the owner to the faucet contract and what you can see right now there's no current tokens in the actual faucet so we're attempting to send one million tokens and now that's done so now we have one million tokens in the actual token contract and uh, now we can go ahead and take a look at the actual ui um, so in this dap which you saw before there's this very simple interface, which basically only connects to two wallets. And when you connect it to um, the actual dApp, you will see the amount in the top right corner. You can, uh, you can interact with a faucet and request funds. And then you can disconnect and switch over to another uh, wallet. And that's it, basically. It's just meant to showcase a very simple like dApp on Harmony and how it can, how it can be implemented. So we can um, take a look at the UI. And the UI is in the UI folder. And when we actually deploy a new uh, set of contracts, we have to first make sure that we're on the correct um, testnet or on our mainnet. So in this case, we want to be in a testnet, which has been specified in .n file. 
And we'll also have to update the configuration for the testnet to use our new set of um, contracts. So we have to update a token contract address as well as the faucet contract address. address. So we'll take, we can take token address from here. And we'll set up and then we can take the faucet address from here. And now, yeah, now we should be good to go to actually start the DAP locally. Um, so we can see the UI, yarn start, and then we'll compile the actual DAP. And when the DAP has been compiled, which will be available on localhost, localhost port 3000, where we can actually interact with it, and our new set of uh, deployed contracts. Okay, so now the DAP is up and running. Uh, it is using the new set of contracts we deploy on Harmony testnet, so we can play around with it and see that it works properly. So let's connect to it. And we have zero tokens right now, um, which is the case because we know we haven't requested tokens before from this specific set of token contracts as well as the faucet contract. So let's request. So let's approve the transaction. Now it's gonna take a few seconds and then we're gonna end up with the pop-up over here uh, showing the transaction. All right, so this time around, uh, compared to the initial demo we did in the beginning of the workshop, we can see that we end up on explorer.pops.1, which is Harmony's testnet explorer. And we can also see that we ended up with 10,000 uh, test tokens after requesting funds from the faucet. So we can also go ahead and uh, repeat this using math wallet. So it's the exact same procedure. Um, so let's request another set of 10,000 tokens from the faucet. Okay, so another transaction carried out on the testnet is successful. And we can also see that we have 10,000 tokens. All right, so let's take a look at the UI. So again, what I said before is that it's a simple React app, uh, originally actually cloned from um, the Yearn UI. So if you've seen that app before, it might look familiar. And um, some things to think about when in terms of creating dApps for Harmony is that there's currently no MetaMask support and there's no uh, web free React uh, tooling support as well. So uh, right now at this stage, uh, you have to implement uh, your own set of wallets uh, that will actually interact with um, the Chrome extensions. So in this case, there's a code for the one wallet and there's code for the math wallet. And this, these two wallet components are hooked up into, uh, specifically in this app, the account component where the wallet is uh, pulled in via a store and then you sign into the wallet and when the sign in is successful, it will update uh, the component, the actual store, uh, and set the wallet as well as the account, the current active account. And then a um, connection, connection connected event will be emitted, which will tell the DAP that um, we can move on to the next screen, which is um, where you can actually request tokens from the faucet. So, uh, <clears throat> and also uh, for this DAP, there's a helper utility, um, which does a lot of the heavy lifting of connecting uh, with Harmony's either the testnet or the, the mainnet. Um, so it's used by um, certain components in the React DAP. And that's it essentially. This, this is a very simple DAP. It's just meant to like showcase how to get initials up and running how to connect to wallets, uh, how to interact with contracts. And it also includes some CLI tooling that you can mess around with um, via Node just to interact with contracts, set them up or stuff like that. So um, that's it basically. And just want to take, thank you for taking your time to take a look at this uh, workshop demo. <laughs>